CEREC 5.0 uh, is out with the new Prime Scan. I've been told that it will be launched for the Omnicam later in 2019. But I just want to give you kind of a, the general nuts and bolts of it. Uh, what you're going to see is that there's still a window mode, uh, like in prior versions of CEREC. There's also this drop down window. Uh, and then everything is obviously off the touch screen. So we still have the phases and the workflow, but with the amount of data that the prime scan actually generates through here, you're going to find that you're not having to do all of the steps. Now you can go back and like reset a margin or insertion access, but everything is just getting better uh, with better data from the, uh, the prime scan. So I'm going to add a new patient. Uh, the window looks just a little bit different, uh, although gray. Uh, the keyboard comes up. You can put in the patient's uh, last name and then the first name and then the date of birth, uh, patient ID and the dentist. Uh, so all of those things are the same. Let me put in the first name. And then this icon will come up and we've just entered a patient's name. Then the workflow is similar to uh, CERC 4.0 or 4.6, where we have the uh, restoration information on this side, and then we just move all the way through. It's always automated, so whatever you did last will be here. And so we used, uh, I think I did a little onlay with uh, Ivoclar Vividence Tetric CAD, so it's set up. But you would select the manufacturer uh, and the materials along with the type of uh, restoration, like a, a bridge or an implant. So you just click on the tooth. Information comes here, but the point of this first screen is there wasn't a lot to do, and then we go to the rest of the phases. Because the Prime Scan can capture full arches so easily, Dense by Serona actually made the screen wider and the program to fit that so that we can have full arch models uh, throughout the, uh, the surface area. And so with that said, the icons actually got smaller, so we have more room for the teeth. So on this uh, particular implant case, when I want to switch over from the crown to the abutment, you actually have to go way over here to the left, and these little icons here will be able to switch it out. So when I click on that, it will then show us the abutment. And then when I go back to here, it'll go back to the crown. So when you look at the software for the first time, you got to realize it's because we can make bigger models more efficiently. Mm -hmm.